What is up, boys and girls? Aoki here bringing you something super special and something that I'm really excited about. Uh, T1 Karia, who a lot of people believe to be the best support in the entire world, busted out Caitlyn's support today in pro play. Not once, but twice with two separate builds. So we're gonna be showing you guys how viable this is, how to make it work, and uh, yeah, how, how to how to play this new version of Caitlyn's support. Um, Caitlyn's support is something that I've actually played in the past. Not trying to say carry a copy me or anything, but uh, he did he did play with a very very different build. Um, I, usually I go first strike or even dark harvest, but with this we're gonna be going Halo Blades. So we're gonna be looking for good openings, and we're just gonna walk them down and abuse our range, and just auto 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 super super fast. Try this. Boom. Auto. 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 Eh, not the best. Not the worst. Got some good damage on uh. Soraka. Alright, so basically we're just going to be playing this as a super, super aggro, hyper aggressive poke support. Uh, we're probably going to get ganked just because, you know, we're, we're, we're playing double marks in bot lane. But if we can get them underneath their turret, where I can like abuse traps, that's where we want them. We, we want to siege, we want to play for early plates. And we definitely want to poke. As long as we don't get hit by uh, Soraka Qs, we should be good. Boom. Boom. I think it's so funny that you can headshot the turret. I mean, I guess the turret does actually have a head, but technically. The Mordekaiser up top. I've always thought that Caitlyn is just absolutely one of the least fair champions in the entire game. The whole, the whole trap shenanigans, like, I don't know, the risk reward for someone stepping on a trap is just so insane. Okay. Saw Mordekaiser top side. So he actually he started bot. He's gonna path top. Not sure where he's at now. I can actually kill this Soraka. If I land my full combo, I can actually kill her. Just E auto Q. Maybe get an ignite. If I was a little more confident on Caitlyn, I would definitely be going for a kill here. We're gonna chill though. No no need to play uh you know, risky. Oh my gosh, 80 HP, man. See, like, if I told you, bro. If I had ignited there. Boom. Bro, this champion's combo is insane. I'm literally just like 1v2ing the lane for us. Made the Soraka go back. We probably go back here. Bro. I want to stay though. I want to stay so bad actually. I think we do stay. We'll play for another plate. Goodbye. That's what I'm talking about. You want them to, this is where you want them as Caitlyn. You want to get them under your turret, under their turret so that you can just siege because they have to, you know, be using their auto attacks and spells to try to get minions. And you can just, you can just do that when you find an opening. Actually so insane. So like I said, uh, Karia played two different builds and he's been playing in solo queue as well. He's, he either goes Duskblade or Eclipse. I think we're gonna go Duskblade. Just for like some more uh you know OMG, front loaded so damage. This a full year. Thanks for all the great memories, buddy. Less than three love ya dog. Of course. Jakey Jake, thank you for the 36 months. I hate you so much, but I love you too, bro. Zero presence, Ezreal. I mean it's fine. He pl he played Ezreal, so he's got scaling. The nice thing, I, I think it's actually a pretty good pick to pick when uh your ADC picks Ezreal. Because like you don't want to play like Pike with an Ezreal. Whereas, like, this champion can literally just one v 2 The Soraka roaming. Take out this ward. Boom. 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 Beautiful. 
actually good aggression there. Used my E to get out of the traps and to put myself in a better spot for Q. Oh, also, when you, whenever you're in the bush, you get the you get double the stacks for your headshot. So you can scale that up much faster. We see uh, Mordekaiser down here. Yeah, guys, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, let me know down in the comments what you think about this new wave of like all these marksmen being played support. We've had Jin support, Ash support, MF support. Uh, pretty much every marksman support is getting played professionally right now, except for Cinna, unfortunately. It's kind of sad, but. Are they on us? Not on this, is he? He's not on this. Oh my god. Bro, we're coming so close. If they had any support but Soraka, we would have had like three kills by now. I'm gonna see if I can stop their back. Oh, you know, I could have used the Warwick blood trail to know where she was backing there and stopped her back. That would have been super big brain. Um, well, I want to get my level six before we go back. So I don't know if that's actually going to be possible. I need two more waves. Nice. Get through the wave, get it nice and chunked for my Ezreal. Oh, there we go. There we go. Don't you dare step on that trap. All right. My Warwick's on dragon. I think I just stay. Maybe I can... Malphite wants to dive. I don't know, I don't know about this one, guys. Uh, I also have to watch for Jinx rockets. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god. I'm really scared, guys. <gasps> oh, I almost flashed. I almost flashed. Thank god I didn't. I'll fight once it just walk into this lane, I guess. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh! No way! Bro, I literally did not think that Q is gonna kill, so I ulted. But luckily, Caitlyn's one of those champions that like, if your ult doesn't go off, you just get it back. That was crazy. Well, good uh, good force by Malphite. I didn't think he was gonna get anything out of that. Just casually taking every single plate, guys. Now it's wanting me to pivot into Gale Force. We're sticking, we're sticking to the plan, guys. We're going Dark Harvest. Okay, they got Rift Herald. It's okay. We got Dragon, though. But I'm telling you, this champion's not fair. Like, we literally have taken their entire turret at 10 minutes into the game. Not even. Before 10 minutes into the game, guys. Like, what? How, like, how is this balanced? And now we go mid. Take the rest of the plates. Dark Harvest? Did I say Dark Harvest? I meant Duskblade. You guys understand. Like, they're, I mean, you know what I meant. They both have Ds. They're both red. Like, come on. Don't you dare. Don't you even dare try to take my ward, bro. She just alter. If we both hit our ults, she just dies. Let's see it, Ezreal. Let's see it, baby. Let's see it. Okay, baby. Let's go. Oh my god. Least worthless Ezreal on the server. What am I getting pinged for, bro? We killed Soraka. We're taking plates. That's all we can do. Dude, we are so rich. I have entire mythic now. Just gonna go back for that. 
Actually, we, we can get another plate. This is almost bullying. I mean, this is how you want to play Caitlyn. Like, this level of aggression. Choke them out like you have one of the most broken freaking early games ever. Like, the biggest bully ever. Why do they keep sitting Soraka alone? I'm starting to feel bad for her. Okay, never mind. I just feel bad for myself now. She went on in on that. She literally would have just died. Thank you for all the entertainment over the years since you joined the four fun squad. Good luck on all your games today. Hey, what's up, baby? Thank, thank you for the kind words, bro. Welcome to the stream. Let this stop my back. Thank you, Lackey. I mean, teammate. Um, all right. We are, we can either go Berserker Greaves or Cooldown. I think we go CDR Boots, honestly. Get lower, lower cooldowns on our Flash and Ulti and all that good stuff. And now that we've got our Mythic, we just walk up. We get the one tap, front loaded damage of Duskblade and walk away. And also proc with our Ulti. And we get to turn invisible sometimes. Free damage. Okay, nobody else is getting mid, and I want to be preparing this wave for the dragon. So we just pick up this wave. Uh, if you're wondering why I just used my ulti there, that's how Caitlyn ult should be used. Do not hold on to it. Like, waiting for 10 minutes to, to get a last hit on someone that's running away. Just use it. Just use it for free damage, free presence. Yeah, it's got a low cooldown. Look, like, it's literally already up. Just use it. I hate Caitlyn's that just hold on to their alts forever and ever. Dragon. Free damage. Big rip, man. Dude. The Soraka just kept her alive for so long. All right, we're going to need some anti-heal here. I'll get anti-heal. I think someone else should probably get it too, but... Is Halo Blades necessary or would First Strike be good? I'm playing it how T1 carry is playing it. Um, I, I, I have played First Strike Caitlyn before, and I think it would have been good here. But I wanted to show you guys how Carrier plays it. And, like, I've, I've gotten... 24 autos with it, so it's like, it's not like it's doing bad. But first strike is definitely not bad. And uh, the Halo Blades, yeah. Like that person in chat said. It's, it's kind of how uh, Aielo Ash is played as well. Just get so much value out of like being able to auto attack four times and then conclude the trade. All right, I'm going to make a risky rotation here. We definitely just need to keep playing for these dragons. That's like kind of our only late game insurance. See if I can get my Malphite out. Cannot get my Malphite out. Ooh, I cannot get out now. Yeah, like I said, I knew, I knew it was a risky rotation. We need to uh, just play around our strong bot side. We are turbo gapped top. They're going to get another Rift Herald. I'm afraid of this Yorick splitting us to death this game. Ooh, they get objective bounties too. What a great system, right? Fantastic system, IMO. 
Should be alting there to stop the Soraka's ult. First Soraka's back. See ya, bro. Okay. Uh, I'm not crazy about walking up here. We can't unless we have all five. We just gotta catch these these waves. There's Rakaka. Wait, wait, wait. I might be able to walk up and trap her. She doesn't know I, I see her. <laughs> no way, man. Oh my god. How nutty is that? What am I watching? My Malphite just leashed blue buff at, for our for the enemy Yorick, dude. Get a grip, man. He won't even have his ulti up for dragon now. Alright, luckily they prematurely dropped the Herald. This is gonna get a crash. It won't even get the turret though. Could find a good fight here. Like maybe they're greeting for our wolves. Oh. Yeah, it actually kind of sucks. We're not gonna have our Malphite ulti now. Considering he's full AP Malphite, and that's the only way he's useful. Maybe we can stall at 30 seconds. Who knows? I'm so glad she didn't go in on that. Probably could have bursted me. Oh, Yone should just ult this, bro. Just alter, just alter, just alter. Okay, get the dragon now. Just take the dragon. Uh, Maiden going bot. Trap up these bushes. Boy, they're gonna fight it. Uh, this is so awkward. Oh, there it is. There it is, baby. Beautiful. Good job. The redemption. The redemption, baby. Huge. All right. I kind of played that fight slightly wrong. I wanted to make sure we one-shot someone there. So I wasn't confident in the Malphite all actually killing anyone. So I used my EQ combo, which probably made it so that I could have... Like, I dropped a couple of autos. Like, EE -E is your only gap closer and, you know, space creator. It is good for combos. Like, get another headshot. But apparently we didn't need it to one-shot that person. So... I could have just pathed forward there, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I will go Mortal Reminder into Collector. Alright. Almost got soul, boys. I mean, we could actually go to this Baron right now. Yone's going to be pulling like four people bot. Do Baron right now. Right now, as four. Yone pulled them bot. They don't have vision. They do not have vision. I don't know. You stay bot. You stay bot. I need my team to listen, though. I need my team to listen. Guys, guys, guys. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Guys, this isn't going to work if we don't all do it. Ah, uh, Mordecai is just going to... That works. <laughs> All right, that works. That works. I should have taken out the uh, the blast gun earlier, but it's what it is. 
Luckily, my team was actually really good about instantly turning on the Mordekaiser there and not flipping the dragon. Woo! Alright, in most games, I would not be rushing anti-heal, but as the highest range champ in the game and no one else is buying it, I, I feel like I had to. Uh, collector's really good here. Umbral would be decent. Lots of cool itemization you can do. But now we just want to group and siege. Go to alt. Do not want to be clearing our jungle, guys. Fair champion, by the way, guys. Fair champion. I guess I'm just better. Bro, this champion's not okay. It's just not okay. Yo. Yup. God. I think I think the best part about this whole T1 carry playing this is that now you can play Caitlyn and it's not a troll pick. It took a while for people to to warm up to um to Ash support and MF support and even Jin support, but now people are like, oh, it's actually a good, it's it's actually real, it's a good thing. And now we've got Caitlyn, boys. Not that you should ever let other people tell you what is and isn't playable. Like my entire team, stream will attest to this. My entire team begged me not to play Caitlyn support. And I don't care. All right. Speed top. I'm gonna yoink our blue here. Just wanna play for dragon. Good in the bush so I get more headshots. Take our back. And now we just go play for dragon. We're in a very, very good spot. Oh my god, he got the blue yoinked. No, oh, he blocked it. Not too far, not too far. Just just play to the dragon. Play to the dragon. Literally their only option here is for York to just like desperation split top. They can't do anything else. I'm pretty sure Ezreal just kills him. Yeah, he's running away from Ezreal. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Alright, now we get our soul. Okay. Oh, be out. Don't die, Warwick. Oh my God, he got like half his health. Third of his health bar back from queuing a, a minion. All right, we really shouldn't be doing this. This is super stupid. I'm just, I'm just kind of in the zone.
We should we should just go siege bot. Guys. Okay, now we can just win. Oh no. <laughs> God, it's another BS thing about Caitlyn, bro. You can never stop watch against her. Ever. Ever. You just die if you ever stop watch or root yourself. Okay, once again, this is just terrible macro. This is just like the worst macro I've ever seen in my life. But I'm just having fun shooting people, bro. Neat. Neat. Seven, two, and eight. Not bad. Not bad. There's the FF. Seven, two, and eight. My Ezreal actually never died. Hardcore bot lane carry. And there it is, guys. The carry courtesy of T1 Carrier. That is the new Caitlyn support as seen in pro play. Let's take a look at this damage chart. Should be pretty juicy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 27k coming out of Caitlyn's support. Uh, their support did 2,000. I'm just saying. It's a bit of a support gap. But anyways, if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think of the build and strat down in the comments. Always take it easy. Peace. Uh...